What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another episode of The Road to Glory. Um, you can probably see in the top left we've got a lot of coins. Um, Draft of Glory that went up earlier today, which is obviously the series I combined on the two accounts. I got mad lucky in packs. I managed to pack Petr Cech, who I sold. I packed Nemanja Matic, who I sold. I packed this dude, who I sold. Uh, a couple of silvers and bronzes from Bronze Pack Method. I sold my Musa as well, guys. 12k. Uh, bought it for 9k. Applied a Hunter. I sold him for 12k. Got rid of a couple of the Spaniards there for a little bit of coins as well that we packed just through the SBC packs and such. Sold the Jurgen Klopp for 3.5k. And then all three of these dudes also came out of the um, Draft of Glory packs and they've sold. And then we've got a few more items on the uh, trade pile as well. I'm trying to sell that Rossi that I bought a while back. And then all of these dudes here are just duplicates. Um, I don't think any of these are non-duplicates maybe carriers minulay yeah see i used minulay in an sbc yesterday's episode um but all the rest of them are duplicates so i'm just leaving them in the club for now whilst they're not doing any you know they're not really worth anything and they're not doing any harm by just sitting on the trade pile Ooh, send him to club very nice um so yeah i might as well just uh you know leave them there until they either have value or until i can send them to the club because i've used uh them anyway uh, so uh, we've completed one daily objective as well, score for Italy, we get 400 coins for that, quite nice, we need a brace in squad battles, get fit, buy a player and cross it, buy a player on a transfer market, using buy it now, I don't want to, I'm going to do it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a silver card for 200 coins, and then I'm just going to list it straight back up for 200 coins, uh, let's take a, a Brazilian striker for 200 coins, that sounds like a good deal. Of course, of course it's gone. Um, let's do that and get these players back up here. Um, well, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take the uh, the MLS player for 200. Can we get just a player? Hello, let's go Let's go down the road a little bit here. Uh, let's take this MLS player. There we go. So buy a player complete. And then what I'll do is I'll just uh, we'll compare his price. We'll see what he's going for. Yeah, I mean, I'll be able to get two... I'll actually be able to just list him for that and eventually he'll sell. So make some coins off of that nice. If worst case scenario, discard him for 100 coins and just make a little bit of profit anyway. But that's another daily objective complete by a player. And we get for it a bronze contract pack. Very, very nice. Love the bronze contract pack. Big fan of those. We'll send those into the club. Um, what I want to do is just give you a brief look at the club real quick, guys. Um, and then we're going to go and play a divisions game. Uh, I don't know if I'm prepared for foot champs yet or not. Uh, but uh, we're going to get there. So in terms of consumables, we've got a lot. I've got a hell of a lot. Wait, uh, isn't centre-forward to Cam worth a fair bit right now? 1.5. I'll wait to sell that. Cam to centre-forward might be worth a bit as well. No, Cam to centre-forward is mad cheap right now. Um, but yeah, I've, I've got a nice amount of consumables here, guys. Contracts, position modifiers. I will eventually get around to selling these. This is probably worth a fair bit. Uh, the left wing to left forward is always an expensive one, but I'm going to keep that for when I need it. And I might need it because I quite enjoy, I think, the 4-3-1-2 as a formation. So what I've done as well is I've created some squads, guys, for the players that are packed in Draft of Glory. Just so I can keep track of them a bit easier, have a look at prices, make sure that I know what I'm selling and where it's come from. But Draft of Glory so far has generated us about 200,000 coins profit, which is why I combined the two, because the only reason why we've got 177k up in the top left-hand corner right now and two really good squads is because of Draft of Glory. Uh, that's specifically why I started it. So this is our first team. Um, I am tempted, like I say, to switch to a 4-3-1-2 generally. Um, this team isn't really set up for it. I'd have to change way too much. Like, is not a problem, but... Uh, I have th these guys just don't work. For example, if I did switch it to a four-three-one-two, we can actually do it without um, it affecting everything, can't we? So if if we did it here, I would obviously put Talisa in midfield. I would still have Cruz at Cam, but I would want uh, probably Scherler and Hazard at striker, and then Bartels and Bellarabi would go. But there's not two centre midfielders that I want to put into this team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this team at four-three. 4, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2 for now. Um, did I actually change that? I'm going to have to change that back at one stage or another. Uh, but the Premier League squad, I'm really tempted to move this into a 4, 3, 1, 2. Uh, I would, would like to play Son and um, Welbeck up front together. The, this would still be the midfield. I would have to go and buy a new cam. Uh, and that would mean getting rid of Sterling. Sterling's actually a good player. I probably wouldn't sell him either. I'd probably keep him. Although I could make a bit of profit on him, I'd probably keep him... 
um, and just use him. But I might go like, you know, like a Wayne Rooney or something like that would be nice to put into that cam spot or maybe a Gilfie Sigurdsson, uh, just someone that's going to be uh, useful. Um, but this is our first team or, or alternatively, I could just start with the 4-3-2-1 like this. Everyone's on full chem and just switch in game uh, if I'm struggling and put Sterling and Welbeck up front and it would be Son in at cam. I think it'll make a much better cam. But this team is a really good team. This is the team we're going to use today. I'm going to apply some uh, individual fitness cards here. I am going to be switching between two teams this weekend league because first of all, I don't have enough. Um, I don't have enough fitness cards to do everything to, to play all 40 games with um, with a pair of them. But I might use, I might do some squad battles with the Bundesliga team to generate fitness from the Premier League team. I'm, I don't anticipate playing all the squad battles games this weekend. But I definitely do anticipate playing some squad battles games this week. And the reason for that is because um, I want to obviously get Elite 1. Elite 1 is important. I explained it on stream and I'll explain it to you guys as well. Let's just take a 10-week period of squad battles at Elite 1, right? First and foremost, you're going to be generating 400,000 coins from the prizes over 10 weeks. Which in itself is amazing. That's a guaranteed 400,000 coins. On top of that, you're going to be playing at least, I would say... 25 to 30 matches to to get those um, you know to get those coins to get the uh, elite one section, which means from those 25 to 30 matches as a minimum, you're going to be generating 20,000 or so match coins per week over 10 weeks is 200,000 match coins. Now, as long as you're not stupid with uh, contracts, consumables, fitness, etc., that's great because that's 200,000 coins give or take in the bank on top of the 400,000 coins that you've already made from the prizes. Over a 10-week period, you're already at 600,000 coins earned just over 10 weeks. Uh, I'm actually going to keep this guy because he's Calcio A, Calcio B even. But um, So you're looking at 600,000 coins. And then after that, you've got uh, 20 mega packs uh, over the 10-week period as well. Now, a mega pack obviously is a 35k pack. And in a 35k pack, you will pretty much guaranteed um, get yourself 15 to 20k per pack. So you're looking at a roughly 350 to 400,000 minimum guaranteed from the mega packs. So over a 10 week period, guys, you are pretty much guaranteeing yourself for a million coins, 1 million coins. So 100,000 coins per week over 10 weeks, 1 million coins. If FIFA is successful and popular for 40 weeks again, you know, it, I'd say it was about 45, 46 weeks last year that it was really good and then it died off quite badly towards the end. But over a 40 week period, you'd be looking at a minimum of 4 million coins towards the back end of FIFA. I cannot turn that down. I, I, want, those I want those 4 million coins minimum. And if you get even semi lucky in the mega packs, a couple of 20k players, Maybe a 50k player, maybe you pack an icon or an inform or a ones to watch or a screamer card or whatever promos out. You could potentially make five to six plus million coins just off of hitting elite one in squad battles every week, which is why I will bust my gut to get elite one every week. Now, I'm actually in a good spot right now. Um, I've got uh, I do need to update my opponent. So yesterday. I got good points, 2,400, 2,500, 2,300, 2,500. That's a good set. I still haven't played the featured squad either. Uh, so let me update my opponent. So these are today's four games. Oh, that's nice. Low rated, low chemistry. That's nice. Very low rated team. I like that a lot. I should be able to dominate that bronze goalkeeper. Another low rated team here. It's actually quite a nice team. Oh, speaking of Defoe, I wanted to look at Defoe. Um, and then a difficult team at the end. That's going to be a really, really tough team to beat. Um... But as you can see, guys, I'm already Elite 2 comfortably. I'm only 1,000 points behind Elite 1. 1,000, 2,000 points behind Elite 1. And I've got four games spare and the featured squad. So after I play Thursday's games, the featured squad and Friday's games, I should be so far ahead of the curve that I don't have to play nearly all of the games. And then worst case scenario, I will finish Elite 2 and miss out on 14,000 coins like I did last week because I got lazy. But I won't be getting lazy this week because I'm not playing squad battles on my main account this week either. So um, I think squad battles is 100% worth it. But what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm probably not going to show much or any squad battles gameplay. I'll probably just keep you guys updated uh, through the week with where we're at. And what we've got. There's a small chance I'll get top 100. Probably not this week. I'm, I'm about, if I win my games, um, the four games I've got here, 
even if I have a good time like I did yesterday, get maybe 9,500, 10,000 points, that'll put me to say 37,000. And then 1,900 from featured squad will put me to 38, 39,000. I'm about 2,000, maybe 2,500 away from the curve. So I'm, a, I'm far away from the, uh, the curve right now of top 100. Um, and that's because I don't have the team yet to beat these players. Uh, my Premier League team is good, but when I use a Bundesliga team, I actually quite suffer quite a bit. But this team is sick, guys. I'm, I'm pumped for, to use this team in Weekend League. Uh, I believe I went and bought a Shadow card for Aurier again. I did. So I went and bought another Shadow card, 2.6k, I think that cost me. I got it on open bid, which is nice. So that is my defence, my team complete. This is my main Weekend League team this weekend. And we're going to take this into... Um, into a game in divisions. Um, but what I wanted to look at was, I'm I'm very tempted, guys, to get Jermaine Defoe and have him as my second striker next to Danny Welbeck and have Hyung Min Son in a cam. And the reason for that is because, first of all, he's dirt cheap. You're looking at a 1,000 coins, I think. Maybe I can get him for a... Oh, he's silver. Hello. Um, we should be able to get him. Look at that. Eight, seven feet. I'm actually just going to buy that. Um, I'm not going to buy that. I should be able to get it for 850, 900, definitely. Yeah, there you go. 900 coins for Jermaine Defoe. We've got a fresh one here. Let's take this fresh one. The reason why I want Jermaine Defoe, guys, is because with a hunter card, he's got four-star weak foot, which is great. Look at those finishing stats. Decent stamina. He's actually got very good dribbling. His balance and agility are so high that he will feel faster than he is. Once you put a hunter chem style on him, he will go up to 92 acceleration and 82 sprint speed. In a two-striker formation, that's very, very good. Um, so if I have him and Welbeck up front together with Son in at cam, or just have him as a striker instead of Welbeck, I might actually try him this game. Uh, I've got a Hawk chem style spare that I'll use. His finishing attack positioning and shot power is so good, and his composure is so good, that he will be unbelievably clinical. Like, no question about it. Who's my... Who's like a... a Nabry's a guy that's not in the team. Um... I, I know Jermaine Defoe doesn't look appealing because he's got such low like pace. But for me personally, I think he's going to be a beast. Right, Herrera sold for 1400 I need to keep that because I need to check that off on my, uh, on my spreadsheet for Draft of Glory. But we're going to go into... Uh, I've qualified here. Am I able to play again? Zero wins remaining. I can't. Okay. Um, so we're going to go into Division 8 now, guys. And uh, we'll play the game. And I am going to put Jermaine Defoe... Defoe? Uh, I'm going to put Jermaine Defoe in... Um, but one thing that's also interesting as well is because of bronze pack methods, I could quite easily just apply to him the pace attribute card, not necessarily a silver one, because, but I'll have plenty bronze ones to keep applying to him. So for this game, we'll give him the silver one. And then when we look at his in-game stats now and look at what his attributes are, he's 87 acceleration, 81 sprint speed. So again, with a Hunter Chem style now, he'll go to 99 acceleration and 91 sprint speed. With that dribbling and that shooting, that is immense. What I'm actually going to do, I don't, I, I have got a hawk. I don't want to waste it because I'd, if I'm going to use him, I'd much prefer to apply a hunter chem style on him. So we'll keep it basic for now. Um, what's the fitness like on this team? I believe it's okay. Where's fitness at? There's fitness contracts. Is all fine. So we're going to take this team. We're going to go into a game, guys. And we're going to see how it goes, you know. And, and what I want to talk about is the team that I've got and, and my journey for foot champs this week. You know, I'm not expecting much out of myself this week. I think last year, my first weekend league saw me get 23 wins, which at the time, I believe, was gold two, maybe gold three. Um, I can't... No. Right, you choose... I'll choose... Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah, so maybe... It was gold two or gold three. I can't, I can't remember specifically. Um... This year, because of how much I'm struggling defensively at the moment, I would actually be very content with just 20 wins. 18 wins even. Gold three, get the 18 wins. Make sure I put myself in as good as possible as in, in monthly rewards for Elite three or higher. That's kind of the aim uh, for the, this week and this month. Uh, you know, I'm not expecting, as I say, I'm not expecting worldies from myself because although I know a lot of people are going to be suffering... A lot of people are bad at defending. You know, a lot of people uh, also are struggling. I'm, you know, through all the games that I've played so far in divisions and in draft and stuff, I know where my weaknesses are. And my weaknesses are going to be against people that have extremely pacey players up front. You know, I'm talking like your Sterlings, your Walcotts and such. And then they just sprint at me. I, don't, I, I very much doubt I'll come up against too many... Uh, 
what a oof, that was an effort. I very much doubt I'll come up against too many people that have, for example, icons or Ronaldo's or Messi's. Maybe people are saving their loans for that. Uh, me personally, I might also have my loans on there. Oh God, Bakayoko. Um, you know, what? I'm going to change straight away into the four-three-one-two. I want to give it a shot in divisions whilst I've uh, got a decent setup for it. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I'm, I'm just not expecting too much from myself. Because I want to use this weekend league as a, as a learning curve. You know what I mean? I want, to, I want to really try and isolate the issues, not only with my gameplay, but also with my teams. I want to see, okay, if this is a problem with the team, let me uh, improve it here. If this is a problem with the team, let me improve it there. And just really start to focus on the two teams. And although I do like the Bundesliga team, and the reason why I like the Bundesliga team is because I think Schürrle is very good. I think, um, I think, uh, oh God, he's done me there. Yeah, I think Schürrle is very good. I think... Um, Bartels and Thorgan Hazard are good and for squad battles I might keep the Bundesliga team and just really see what kind of stats I can get on those dudes through squad battles but um, in terms of uh, oh, am I going to get there? No. Um, in terms of um, the Bundesliga itself the, I, you know, we talked about this in an episode a, a while back one of the biggest issues is how has the ball not gone out of play yet? One of the biggest issues is, is that the jump from the the low OP players with decent stats but not insane stats to the good players is excessive. You know, in terms of strikers, once you get past, say, Thorgan Hazard or uh, Fabian Bartels and such, the next people you're looking at is Werner the Burner and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. And it's just too expensive. You could even go and get Royce and play M7 Chem um, or Ribéry or whatever. And, they're, you know, they're just, they're just mad expensive. So there are decent players in, in the league. I think, you know, Stindl, very, very strong uh, Max Kruser, I really like him. I think he's got a great card, uh, very underrated card in my opinion. Um, he's backed off me there, go and bite. There we go. <sighs> Might get that back. Um, but generally speaking, how long has it been since the ball hasn't gone out of play? This is crazy. Yeah, but generally speaking, I think it, it would be more beneficial for me to go either La Liga, because we've got players that I think are incredible, like Inaki Williams, Carlos Vea. Uh, you know, there's a, a much better choice of, of strikers that you can use. Uh, or if not La Liga, Calcio A. You know, I really like the look of Jose Calleon. Chiro Immobile is very good. There's just there's a lot of really good players in that league that I think we could utilise better than the Bundesliga. So after this weekend league, maybe even before this weekend league, I haven't entirely decided yet. Where is the 4 3 one two? There it is. Yeah, maybe beforehand, I, I might change to a Calcio A team... Um, Tomorrow, I, I don't quite know yet. Let's set back here to stay back. Is that how I want it set up? Sterling in at cam? No, let's put Son in at cam. Herrera, Sanchez, back here, perfect. Let's try the 4 3 1 2 just because I might lose here. You know, I'm, I'm divisions I'm not really fussed about. I just, I'm trying to experience gameplay and get better at the game. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is where it, so one of the reasons why I gave um Herrera a chem style, uh, sorry, an attributes card was for this. Now he's got decent enough um. Uh, stats to be a free kick taker oh my god what a weak shot that was I thought he was going to launch that but uh, yeah I, I wanted him to be a good set piece taker basically so I'll be I, I don't really have a an out and out set piece taker in the team and because of that I'm going to be using passing attribute cards where I need to essentially come on Penrith let's go Bought that one. Tried to do a fake shot with Renato Sanchez and he just took the heels away, guys. Let's give this to uh, Jermaine Defoe. See if he's going to get that debut goal. Great pen. Underneath Petr Cech. He dived the right way. But Jermaine Defoe, 25 minutes in, on his debut. First real touch of the ball for Defoe. He's had a, he's had a few uh, passes here and there. But he hasn't really done anything. And, and how crazy is that? As soon as I change formation... Okay, it was through a penalty, but as soon as I changed formation, we end up generating the chance that gave us the pen and uh, scoring a goal, which uh, obviously I'm very happy with. Let's get in with... Uh, oh, that's a good tackle. I, f I just... I don't know, man. I, I love playing with wingers, which is why I traditionally stick to the 4-1-2-1-2 wide, or, um, which is my formation on the Bundesliga team, or the 4-3-2-1, because I enjoy wingers. But this year, it feels like the 4-3-2-1... Oh, sorry, the four three one two, or potentially the um, potentially the uh, four three four one two one two narrow, or the four two three one narrow, feels like they're going to be strong formations this year. I feel like the intricate passing moves that you can get out of having a narrow formation is going to be far more beneficial 
than having a width in your formation. So if I want to have, um, oh, that's a good turn that is. If I want to have my team with wingers in it, I'm going to have to play the wingers on seven chemistry up front, which I don't mind doing. You know, we're, we're more than happy to play players off chem uh, in, in our teams. I did it all last year. I'm sure I'll do it all this year. Oh, we've got some space out here. Go on, Danny Rose. Oh, look at Jermaine. He's through. That's a great ball. Jermaine Defoe. Oh, that wasn't bad. Good, good opportunity there. And we generate a corner out of that. That's not too bad. All right. So one of the biggest issues I have as well, one of the, actually one of the reasons why I wanted to use Danny Welbeck was because I don't have a target man. Um, and if you guys remember last year, I loved the target men. Romelu Lukaku. Um, he just fell over. If Romelu Lukaku, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, you know, Luis Suarez, Cristiano Ronaldo, all the six foot, six foot one, six foot two, six foot three dudes. They're the guys that I really enjoyed playing with because it, it gave you a really good uh, offensive out ball. But this year, I don't have the funds right now to get the target man that I want, if that makes sense. Here we go, Son. That might be a goal. Oh, he's tucked that wide. Um, and uh, for near post corners, again, it, it seems like the, the near post is OP again this year. I've already scored uh, a, a number of goals from the near post corners, same as last year. And I've already conceded a number of goals from the near post corners, same as last year. So I definitely want a target man in the box on corners. And Jermaine Defoe is not going to be that guy. So maybe uh, there's even more reason to have Danny Welbeck. Because Welbeck obviously being nice and tall is really going to help there. I can't believe he didn't score that. That's surprising. I thought that was going to find a back of the net right there. Uh, my midfield is all right, though, for height. You know, Herrera's six foot, Bakayoko's nice and tall. Um, Renato Sanchez, not so tall, but definitely has the aggression and, and the stamina and such to uh, to chase. Oh, don't let it be like that, EA. Good save, Begovic. Um, and then I'm happy with my fullbacks. You know, Aurier is a beast. There's a reason why I bought his ones to watch, because he will be my fullback for a long time. Um, and Danny, God. Go on, son. Oh, sh might have just given this to him. Nice back here. Oh, God. Nice block. Um, yeah, I, you know, Danny Rose is good right now, but... <sighs> but uh, I don't know how long he'll be in the team for. I'm so guided with that because I gifted him possession. I concede so many goals because I just give up easy balls. And that's a stroke of half-time there. So we're 1-1 right now. I've dominated possession, but chances have been quite even. I did have two good chances right before he scored. One with Defoe and one with Son. That I expected to see finessed into the back back of the net that didn't go in. Um, hopefully we can we can take this uh, this second half by storm and really uh, start progressing. I'm going to go attacking as well because I want to get a few more bodies up the field. That's a good tackle. That's my bad. I tried to uh, shield the ball into play there instead of just passing it off. Let's get around him there. Herrera's away here. Son's in. Surely this is a goal. Hyungmin Son, he doesn't miss those. Come on. There we go. I used uh, the knowledge of who he was controlling to my advantage there. Managed to thread the ball through to Hyungmin. And we get the goal to go 2-1 up. I feel like I deserve that. Just, just. You know, this guy hasn't been bad. Let's not uh, be silly. And obviously we're only in Division 8. But, um, yeah, that was a nice goal. This guy's actually got a sick team as well. Mikel Antonio is not a guy that I'm interested in. I know a lot of people are probably saying, oh, you want like a target man, a big, big player. Why not Mikel Antonio? For his price... Just not interested. I would much rather use Danny Welbeck, who's way cheaper and will do pretty much the same job, to be fair. Let's go. Go on, Sterling. You're away. Defoe's got that. See how he's controlling the player? If I had a four-star skiller there, it would have been a little bit easier. But because I knew he was controlling him, I knew that I could, could just hold the ball a little bit more keep possession and try a skill move if you know if Defoe had four star skills it would have been a hell of a lot easier to get around him um, I shouldn't really be controlling my centre backs because he's going to also know that he could just walk around there's a through ball there yeah I saw that oh I thought I got that with Bakayoko that's going to be a goal I hate the way the defenders step off you know like I, I could see that was going to be a goal straight away because as the ball went into Sigurdsson the defender that I wasn't controlling was walking backwards away from the ball and not towards the ball and that's one of the the big defensive changes this year uh, that's obviously a little bit frustrating should have scored there i tried to like just do a little double tap to get it underneath the keeper but it didn't quite work out like that <laughs> this might be a this might end up being a loss here guys to be fair this guy's starting to get back into the game 
Is that my ball or his ball? Ah, it is. God damn it. I suppose I should be happy that I've actually managed to get the tackle in, but... Oh, I read that and there's an auto lunge. As a, I'm happy for him to take those sort of shots. Let's get the ball out. Oh, see, I've given the possession away again. If he scores off of this again, he's not. Thank God for that. It comes from me just giving up sloppy possession over and over. I've got to stop giving up sloppy possession because it is going to cost me absolutely massively in uh, in foot champs if I keep giving away this easy easy possession. There we go. We should be through. Oh, it's, it's kind of like hit the body of Sanchez instead of going through him. Nice. Let's go, Defoe. Yes, that's why I got Defoe, guys. That composure, that curve, that shot power, the long shots, the the the, the uh, finishing. That's exactly what I wanted him for. Those near post finesses. Boom! What a finish that was. Top bins. Jermaine Defoe with the second goal. You don't necessarily need pace in this game. Uh, obviously, it's it's good to have some pace, you know, which is why we've got Sterling and Son. But having a clinical finisher, I feel like is going to be sometimes, maybe more often than not, more valuable than having someone who's fast just because they can get into shoot space. You know, I'd rather have someone like Defoe, who's going to take every, you know, most of the chances that he has, than have someone like Walcott, who's going to get more chances but convert less. You know what I mean? Um, so for me personally, that's exactly why I wanted Jermaine Defoe. Oh God, this is a good chance. I think he's ruined his opportunity there. He's, he's really like allowed my defence to get back. Yeah, that's I'll, I'll take that every day of the week. Let's go. Right, we're away from his defender here. Now we're in with Renato. Back into Defoe. He, def he turned into his uh, centre-back there. That's unfortunate. Don't let him get the one-two off. Just track it. There we go. Kind of had to send him wide. He's, he's through again here. That's good from Bakayoko. I really, really like Bakayoko, guys. If you do have the funds and you need a CDM or, or like a defensive-minded centre mid, Bakayoko is your guy. Ooh, that might have been a foul there eventually, but... Come on, win that. Nice, Smaldini. Still overpowered as hell, Smalling, in my experience so far, dudes. Let's go. Sterling's got the pace on Kolasinac. See, I know Kolasinac isn't going to touch me there because... It's the AI that's controlling him. So it just gives me the carte blanche of being able to take my time instead of rushing. Like Normally I would panic there because I wouldn't know which defender he's, he's controlling. On this occasion I was able to, uh, to just... Oh god, I'm rushing passes again. There's no need. There's no need. This time I was able to you know, just take a bit more time there. I probably should have done a bit better with the foe as well. I think I was, I was being too greedy trying to, trying to find the, the, the back of the net with the foe again. Um, Instead of passing it one more time inside and, and just getting the uh, getting the easy goal. Oh, we've got players here. We've got over the left-hand side is free. There we go. All right, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to like a bit a bit of good ball retention here is is gonna be much necessary. He says that he gives the ball away loosely twice. God damn it! It's just so poor again. There's there's absolutely no rush in the midfield there. Oh god, that's a great ball. I called the keeper out. Could have failed me. Ended up being successful. I'll take that. There we go. Here we go. Here we go, boys. Danny Rose up for a banger. Woo! Close. That could have been it. That could have been the, the game. The game done. Looks like I'll get at least a draw. So long as I uh, don't concede two goals in the last few minutes. Let's make sure we're nice and patient on the ball. He's controlling the defender. So we'll just wait. That should be a goal. Yes, and a Herrera. He's there for it. Terrier 69. I doubt he's going to make changes from here, so it's probably GG's, boys. Uh, let's skip the skip the replay. Maybe he's away. And that is why I'm called Team Sweat, guys. The sweat across the goal. Silly to quit the game in the 86th minute, right? Because you are just going to ruin your modifier, your, you know, your coin modifier. And I think it's important to keep that maximum. You'll, you'll end up missing out on potentially hundreds of thousands of coins this year if you rage quit a lot because when the modifier goes down you really do get way less coins Defoe's in here that's nice oh he read that that's a great tackle that's why I like Bakayoko I know I didn't end up retaining possession there but he's just he's good he's strong he's powerful Look at that again. He got, didn't win the ball back, but he actually got back and tracked into Willian. 
Eventually, I get the ball back there. 90th minute. Can we get a, a game to a goal to wrap this game? No, there's me giving up possession again. I hate it. I'm so bad. I give up easy, easy possession way too much. That's going to be full time there, though, guys. We'll just. There you go. Boom. So we get a win. It was a bit more of a struggle than I would have liked to it to have been. But that guy wasn't half bad. He had a decent team and he was a decent player. Uh, I did get the goals of Jermaine Defoe. Hyung Min Son with man of the match. Two assists and a goal. Jermaine Defoe with two goals and an assist. I feel like Jermaine Defoe might be a beast this year. We get 526 coins ourselves. See, my multiplier is 0 0.63. I don't know why. It should be way higher than that. I, I obviously haven't rage quit any games. So I'm unsure as to why it's as low as 0 0.63. Unless that's the multiplier in, in divisions. But we get ourselves a nice comfortable win there, guys. And uh, it does look like something else is sold on the trade pile as well. So we're two trades uh, down now. Big. All, all from uh, all from the... Uh, let's drop him down to like 1,800 for Jota. Drop him down a little bit as well. Bronze Pat Method still paying heavy dividends, guys. Craft. I'll send him back to the club, actually, if he's not going to be sold. Um, De Rossi. See if we can get a little bit of profit off of him. Uh, and then these guys will relist. So that is going to be that, guys. This is going to be the end of the video. Of course, tomorrow is Foot Champions on Friday. I'm nervous. Genuinely nervous. I know that's pretty sad, but I'm actually nervous. This, though, guys, is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.